Everybody in the neighborhood knows something different about the mysterious man who does business at the corner of Dale and the freeway in St. Paul, Minnesota. My name is Tiger Jack Rosenblum. Cause God put me on this corner so I could show the world what a man can do. And I did it. This video is a portrait of Mr. Tiger Jack R. Rosenblum, created by the class of sixth graders from Capitol Hill School with their teacher Steve Ford and the video artist Mike Hazard. Now I want one of these mambas and a pop. Okay, let me get a pop out there, will you? Tiger Jack might have the smallest business in the world. He has been on this corner since 1948. He works seven days a week. He's done it all on his own with no welfare, no loans, no grants. I love the smell of your wood snow crystal. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. I grew up with it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Tiger was boxing in 1936. He got in a fight with the punk from Hinkley. The punk kid was calling him mean and nasty names like Black Devil and Nigger. Jack started to fight him. The first round was pretty even. But the second round, Jack knocked him down. He put a punch to his head and nailed him. When he got up, Tiger knocked him down again. After the fight, the manager came and said to him, you were like a tiger out there. And that's how he got his nickname. And ever since then, he's been called Tiger Jack. There's room at the cross for me. There's room at the cross for me. A million may come that room so for one. That room had to grow up for me. Tiger Jack was born on April 10, 1907 in a big log cabin on top of a hill in Danville, Virginia. He was raised by his aunt Hattie Gray in Riverhead, New York, also known as Long Island. He came to St. Paul in 1936. He came to help St. Paul get on its feet, not get on his feet. He has one wife and nine children, eight of whom are still living. Did you know, until he got too old to do it as a matter of course, when you entered the shop, the lights were off? Tiger saves every penny of power between customers. One thing we did to study Tiger Jack was look at old media. This is a documentary short from the early 1970s by the independent producer Jeff Strait. I don't think that I've been a man in this state I said, why the black or uh, Mexican, Indian, anybody have taken a wife and eight kids and made it and showed as much as that Tiger Jack have showed? I don't care how tough they ain't get. Believe me, Jeff, I can find something to sell. Believe me, and I won't tell what all the, I'll come up with something. Tiger Jack says a lot of things that make you think. When Tiger Jack says, don't be no deadbeat, no yes man, no get by, he means don't be lazy, have your own opinions, and do everything to the best of your ability. Let your word be your word. When Tiger Jack says this, he means tell the truth and stand by it. This, I believe, is very important to Tiger Jack. I wear the same clothes and say the same things to everyone. I believe this means that he doesn't treat anyone differently or more special than anyone else. I think what Tiger means when he says, if one person broke it, another could fix it, is that if, when one person does something wrong, another can fix it by doing something right. Now, I remember this is new, 
On Dale in St. Anthony stands a small brown and blue shack where an old wise man works. Written on an old first class envelope is a petition about his sidewalk. His customers all sign, talking about how clean and clear his sidewalk always is. Signatures from all races, cultures, and people are on his envelope. It all started when someone claimed Tiger didn't keep the sidewalk clear. Now he has the proof, if anyone asks. Just put we, the sixth grade class of 1997, like that. He's one proud man, that Tiger Jack, though his castle is a little shack. But never say you can't, he says, and I find his saying true. For miracles like him, you see, come right out of the blue. His name is Tiger Jack. He works in a very small shack. It's on Dylan 94, and he's honest to the core. Tiger Jack's eyes gaze down to see his roots grow with pride in his heart, and so he guided his roots to grow strongly and firmly, teaching them the way he taught others and us. Tiger Jack is old, but he's strong and bold. He's nice and very precise. Tiger Jack, the man in the shack, he sells snacks and candy. His shack's very dainty. He waves to cars and sells candy bars. He's a man of respect and commonly correct. A very good friend with no bitter end. That's Tiger Jack, the man in the shack. You soak these about half an hour because you know, don't you? Yeah. All right. You barbecue today, you barbecue all the time, ain't you? <laughs> Chips and things, uh, things that's cold up and didn't help them to grow too much. Yet. That's nice. Yeah, that's okay. I'll get you the next time. You owe me a dollar the next time. That's all right. Give me a dollar the next time. Three, three fifty. Yeah. That's, uh, okay. that's okay. Right there, it's okay. Right there, you go to school there. Uh, I go, oh no, it's just a jersey I bought. Yeah. But it's the school where John Thompson, the famous mm -hmm. uh, uh, coach there, he's a black man. He's a yeah. man, John Thompson. All right. All right, see you later, dude. Thank you so much, old timer. Yeah. This is Mr. Rosenblum's advice for sixth graders. First thing you must learn to keep that paper neat, to keep that books neat. You understand what I mean? Keep that book neat. Keep that desk in position and clean. Cleanness. Next thing is setting where you set in your seat at the school. Don't be all sprouted out. Your legs all sprouted out. And try to think for yourself. And try to not think somebody always evil against you or they're doing this on account of us. On account of I'm this, on account of I'm this. When you get that IQ, you can, hey, you can face the world with that use I use it a lot in this little 10 by 8 place I got here that give me 80 square feet. Is that right? That's right? Well, I know that because I know the square are rules. Square rules, learn them numbers. But you can learn to be intelligent, be polite <coughs> and learn to try to be friendly and decent in life. So that little place that Mr. Tiger got there is a community lesson for the whole world. Satan is a snake in the grass. It's always in some one path. And Tiger Jack said, good Lord, and I stretch my hand to thee, and in order to help I know, all these stumbling blocks that try to get in my plan, good Lord, please remove them. Thank you, God. That's all. This video has been created by Andrew Aldridge, Lily Ardalan, Caitlin Arnold, Marcus Braun, Huey Chen, James Clark, Lance Dolan, Ellie Fukui, Christina Garner, Gretchen Griffin, Caitlin Hamrock, Jacob Harstad, Jacob Hartnett, Brandon Johnson, Elliot Johnston, 
Nora King, Patricia Loshengbu, Megan McGuire, Laney Omens, Joshua Ross, Jasmine Seitzer, Cooper Sheehan, Leah Shepard, Sydney Tao, Mai Chu Zhang, Mai Nu Yang, Nia Yang, Pa Yang, and Tony Yang. Special thanks go to Compass, the Center for International Education, Capitol Hill School, Minnesota Historical Society, St. Paul School's Educational Television Department, Kathleen Laughlin, Barbara Pink, Bill Scally, Amil Jihad, Mary Dibvig, Sonia Hazard, Roy McBride, Terry Myers, Jeff Strait, Tim McKinney, Steve Ford, and Mike Hazard, AKA Media Mike. We'd like to thank Remy Eichton for directing the percussion in this video. We are grateful to Mr. Tiger Jack Rosenblum for making this film possible.